Non-native species are species that are found outside of their natural range. Many cause little to no harm. However, some can cause impact to native species and also cause um, impacts to different kinds of infrastructure. And these are known as invasive non-native species. Invasive non-native species can be quite a problem. They can be a problem to the, to the environment in terms of the ecology, and they can be a problem economically. So an invasive species will potentially cause damage to biological communities. They can cause smothering. They can cause problems with the native species where they can't actually uh, reproduce or settle properly because of the, the presence of these non-native species. So ultimately, the, the risk is that the non-native species start to dominate that uh, habitat, that sort of ecosystem, and therefore you end up with a, with a loss of biodiversity as a result. In the marine environment, um, there is one particular species that has had an impact at many different regions, and that is the lionfish. Native to the Indo-Pacific, the invasive lionfish was first seen off the coast of Florida, but now can be found throughout the Caribbean down into Mexico, and it will take over quite a lot of the reefs in a very short period of time. As the numbers increase, the amount they feed also increases, and many of the fish species they feed on are commercially important therefore having a big impact on the fisheries alongside the health of the many of the reefs that are found along those regions. An example of an invasive non-native species found in Wales is the American lobster. These lobsters are native to North America and Canada, and although uncommon in the UK, there have been individuals caught in Wales. They've been imported live to the UK since the late 1950s for consumption and are thought to have escaped from holding tanks or been released into the wild by members of the public. American lobsters are larger and generally more aggressive than our native European lobster. They compete with the native lobster species for space and food and are highly fertile. More worryingly, they have the potential to interbreed and can carry a number of diseases which could transfer to our native lobsters and other crustaceans. A spread of these diseases to our waters could have a serious impact on local fisheries. Unfortunately, the American lobster is not the only example of an invasive non-native species in our waters. In Wales we have quite a few different non-native species, some of which have become invasive. So some obvious ones on, that you find on the seashore might be the Pacific oyster, which initially has been brought in for agriculture purposes, but then those can then breed uh, and then they become out of control in certain areas. Associated with other aquaculture, some uh, animals have been brought in by accident, such as the American slipper limpet, which again has formed quite dense colonies, particularly in Milford Haven in South Wales. And these can cause smothering of the local wildlife through the production of mud and simply growing over other animals. The invasive non-native species can cause a decline in, in certain other species. So for example, we have the mussel fishery here in Wales and it's, it's quite vulnerable to smothering by the American slipper limpet or the um, carpet sea squirt, which would completely uh, disrupt those fisheries and to the result of probably not being a viable fishery at all. Some of the non-native species, the invasive ones, are fouling organisms, which is to be expected really. They quite often, the pathway that they come into the country is on, on boats, on barges, on perhaps aquaculture equipment, for example, and they could become a real nuisance at best and, and at worst cost a lot of money because of the, the cost of removing them or the cost of fuel as a result of those boats not moving through the water very efficiently. Once these invasive non-native species have arrived through whatever pathway and have settled and established, of course they'll then breed and expand their range as far as they can where the habitat suits. 